thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. It's just a reminder to our journey. The one we did on 10th September to build the covenant. That Sunday will never be repeated. But if you feel like part of it, feel free to see the people on the table there so that we hear more concerning this. I don't want to take much of your time, but I have to remind you so that you will not feel like how I wish I knew I could have been, you know, do something. The power of God is already working on it on the ground. So feel free and don't force anyone. Let this word be in your heart. If you are forced by anyone, you will be complaining. Remember that even our Savior, when he was here on earth, even his own family could not believe that this man is a Messiah. Not until they start seeing something strange. They say, I think this man is, is, is what he said he is. But it was too late. So feel free. I talked about this, I think if I'm not mistaken, maybe three, four years ago. I said, we are here to make history of the gospel so that those who are coming after us, if it would be possible that our history will be like put on the paper, they are going to lead about our journey. There is political journey here on earth. We are, if you go to school, what we learn, more especially within Africa, is only political history. We are the people of history. And God is working on that one. No doubt, he's going to do that one. So be part of this great assignment. I know that people love money more than Jesus. The way they love money. Ha, huh. if it is the way you love Jesus, hmm. I think uh, by now, yes, ungari welanga tulinanku. Hallelujah. So, that is my word concerning our covenant temple. We are building that one. Whether this one participate or not, God has already done it in his own way. But you need to be part of it for the sake of the future. Mm -hmm. I, you know, sometimes I hear people to say, he took all our infirmities on the cross of Baba. It is true. But uh, the reality and what you are saying is not, you know, the same. He did it. You need to pray your law so that you become the partakers of that pain on the cross of Calvary. So thank you very much. And uh, you watch our trip to Israel, 
there are more. There are, there are so many videos. I'm a video angry. We we'll keep on uh, posting them one by one. We may not pray them inside the church like the way they have done to this one. We'll be just posting the same language they put on this one. That is the same language you see. All the places that we visit there. We we'll keep on posting so that uh, you watch and learn one or two things. It is by the grace of God, and I know that one day you two, you go there to go and see where your father Jesus was buried. So, thank you very much. God bless you for your patience. Uh, <clears throat> before that, I get a message. Therefore, I'm to be family. If you are a man, you are If you are a man, you are a man. You are a Just put it behind you. So that you walk in the believer's what? Authority. We are here to walk in the believer's authority. Jesus came so that he can introduce you to that life. When you are working here as a child of God, you need to carry authority to control the environment, to control everything. Enemies will be there, challenges will be there, but because you are working in the believer's authority, nothing that can bring you down. Or, you know, causing death and timely death. That cannot happen when you are working in the believer's authority. Hallelujah. Are you there? When you are working in the believer's authority, people may not see that authority is working here, but you know yourself that authority is what? Is working. There is no way you can say you are a spiritual woman or man, and you don't know if you are carrying the power of God or not. You need to know this. You need to know this. I am working here. People are saying, Kuno kwa ndoshi. Ah, ndoshi ni shidi. Authority is working. Authority from where? Above is working. So there's no need for me to fear anyone. Whether there's this or that. Authority from above is working. Jesus came to introduce you to that life. So that when you are walking here, you encounter this, you encounter that, but because you are walking in the believer's authority, nothing and nothing that can bring you down. And the purpose of that introduction is to save your life. It's because of what? Salvation. God is not an entertainer. No, make no mistake. God is not an entertainer. He doesn't entertain his people. All what he wants is to save his children and to make them happy. And when you become his follower or his believer, he will introduce you to a spiritual fellowship where angels are in charge. And you are part of that group. Are you there, people of God? Are you there? When you believe in Jesus... He will carry you and introduce you to spiritual fellowship. You are working like this. Angels are all over. That is authority from above. You see the president of this world? You see officers are surrounded him. Hmm? Officers are what? All over the car. But a witch can just... Uh, go and pass through the officers and bewitch the leader. But in our case, whether it is physical or spiritual, this spiritual fellowship can protect you and fight for you. Eh? When, when I look back, see where I am coming from and where I am and where I am going. No one knows 
where I am coming from. No one knows where I am going. What you know about me is where I am. What they know about you is where you are. But they don't know where you are going. So we are working now in the believers what? Authority. But praise the Lord by the and when you look at what you have gone through, why are you here today? Why are you here today? You are serving the purpose of God in your family. You are saving the purpose of God in your nation. Slowed but sure, God Almighty is, you know, adding more value to our life spiritually. To my life spiritually. To your life spiritually. You will discover more when you see an common thing started now happening to your life. What you cannot do, what your mother, your father cannot do, what a man that you trust and believe so much cannot do, you, you'll be doing that. There you humble yourself to say, yes, this is God in me. I am walking in the believer's authority. And the sign for this is the increase in our life. Spiritually and physically. Materially, you see the increase. The only secret for this one is obedience to his word. Praise the Lord. Let me just take you direct to the book of uh, uh, Hebrews. I, I thought of Nachrafu and Jambe na Luke 10, verse 19. I'm looking at time. Uh, we we'll combine this. Uh, Let's go direct to the Hebrews 12, verse 22, 23, and 24. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the seat of living God, the heaven Jerusalem. You have come to thousands upon thousands, angels in joyful assemblies. Ah, my word now, the word I shared with you. Let me read this one again. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the seat of living God, the heaven in Jerusalem. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assemblies. Remember I talked about the spiritual what? Assemblies. I'm talking about believer's authority. That is our simple title. Please. God is the one now saying this to you. That you have come to the Mount Zion. The seat of the living God. The heaven in Jerusalem. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in that joyful assembly. When you become a child of God, you graduate from depending on the physical strength or understanding into a spiritual understanding. Where you see life according to the way God sees it in your life. You make decisions according to the way God Almighty wants you to do. People of God, are you getting the point? I'm trying to spice up what we started on 10th September. I don't want you to lose your know, thought because of what we are hearing all over the world. People can stand against what is a spiritual, what is from above because they want to do whatever. But anything from above is above all. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assemblies. In this assembly, there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to worry. The assurance of your future is crystal clear. You see where you are going. You see what you become. Enemies will be there. 
challenges will be there. But in these joy assemblies where angels are involved, you feel like you are on top of the world. The power of God is more than your enemy. It's more than your pain. It's more than what you are going through. You are in that assembly where you hear from God every second, every minute, every hour, every day. Can a human being advise you and you pay attention to that advice? The answer is no. What made Jesus to be known all over the world? It's, it's not because of Joseph or Mary. It is the power of God in him. He joined that assembly. The link was there 24-7. We grow spiritually. Because of that relationship we keep in that assembly. Nothing and nothing that can disfocus me or disfocus you. You may see me as a human being. Yes, of course, I'm a human being. But the life that you know I'm living is beyond what you see. I can talk like you, but my understanding is not the way you understand life. Because someone is in charge over my thinking. It is a transition from the knowledge of this world to the knowledge from above. In preparation for your journey to live this world, that is the life of every believer, people of God. There's no way you can be saved without connection before you go to heaven. You need that link. If you say you are a born again Christian, you always see snakes. You always, uh, I don't know. Jesus is the hope of life. Come on, let me carry you. I promise you go and read this scripture when you go home. Don't forget about the thousand upon thousands of angels. Enjoy what? Assemblies. In this assembly or this fellowship, there is no gossiping. Witches and wizards cannot be part of this assembly. No. Prostitutes cannot be part of this. Immediately you join these people, you become like angels. That spirit of witchcraft will be arrested. Any evil things will be arrested. What a life. 23. To the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. He have come to God, the judge of all, to the spirit of righteous, made perfect. I, I, I will read this one again. To the church of the firstborn, who is the firstborn? Hmm? Ask your neighbor, who is the firstborn? Are you the firstborn of God Almighty? You know the firstborn of God Almighty. Any church, it I have under the leadership of the Lord Jesus, is your church. Jesus is the owner, the true shepherd. To the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. When you know you, be, you, you become a, a child of God, your names are written there in heaven. Go to Revelation 13 verse 6, you'll find the same word. As long as your names are not written in heaven, the beast of this world is going to capture you. It's because of time. Let me just utilize these three verses for you. Your names are written in heaven. You have come to God, the judge of all, to the spirit of righteous, made 
perfect. 24, the last one. To Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Covenant again has come. I'll never stop talking about this one. To who? To Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. And to the sprinkled blood that speak a better word than the blood of Abel. Jesus became the mediator of the new covenant. The one we met. I'll keep on talking about this so that no one can mislead you. The Bible is there to guide you so that you understand what you did on that day. You have joined the group of angels who are serving God 24-7. If truly you are such a person in your heart, you are walking in the believer's authority. In that book of Luke 10, verse 19, where Jesus said, I've given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy. Then he said, do not rejoice just because demons are submitting to you. But rejoice that your names are written where? That is the message for today. Being a member of the church doesn't mean that you are a child of God. Or me as a pastor to see the crowd. No. No. The purpose of the church is salvation. If the people that you are leading cannot be saved, and then you are claiming to be a servant of God, I don't know what you are talking about. Because he came to save. His healing and deliverance was because of salvation. All the blessings that we are receiving from Jesus is because of salvation. And when you are saved... You are no longer under any power or any influence. You are working in the believer's what? Authority. No one can influence you. No one can mislead you because the angels are surrounded your life. You can't see them physically, but spiritually, they are there. You are not going to die untimely death. You will die like in David because the purpose of God is at work in your life. When you leave this world, it is the will of God. We are dancing in heaven. We are what? That is Jesus for you. I'm encouraging you. Remember where you are coming from. How many people have died? How many friends that you have lost? Why are you here? God has given you this opportunity so that you possess your possession in the kingdom of God. We were misled before now. But today, the spirit of God is in us to direct us and to command us and to show us the way to go. What was impossible before now, it will be possible because God is involved in our affairs. I'm telling you, what was impossible before now, it will be what? Because the hand of God is involved. Angels are working tirelessly to prove that yes, God is behind this. The world will know that yes, God is involved. If you want to make a name as a human being, ah, you are advertising yourself to your enemies. They will kill you. But when God is the one who is raising you in your family, in that company, in that business, enemies will be there who try to bring you down. But as long as you are part of this spiritual fellowship, you are untouchable because you are working in the believer's authority. No one can bring you down. Spiritually, they know who you. 
Oh, he has become untouchable. She has become untouchable. There are people who don't know what they are doing. There are people who don't know. Today they can believe, oh, this is silver. Tomorrow they say, no, it's not silver. It's a, a bronze. Eh? But you said it's silver. Why? Because you are using your thinking capacity to examine the things of the spirit. God is not a respect of man. No. So walk in the believer's what? Authority and power is in the name of Jesus. I was uh, telling my people in that boat, I said, look, yes, any place where we have gone, you may think that, no, they have put up this structure and that structure. But when it comes to the Sea of Galilee, this water that you see is the same water where Jesus was walking. It's the same water where Jesus was closing almost every day. The same water he rebuked. That is the same water. And there was total what? I said, we are not here for the history. But to partake the grace of God. Because in Hebrews 13, verse 8, the Bible says that Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and what? So today, if you are not introduced to this church, I'm not talking about the place where you are. I'm talking about verse 22. Are you there? I mean, 20, uh, 21, yes, 22. Today, Jesus will introduce you to these thousands upon thousands of angels who are worshiping God 24-7. And the Bible says in verse 24, Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood, that speaks a better word. Which, which blood? The blood of Jesus. He's on the ground. Always defending your case. So walk in the believer's word. Authority. Let, let me sing with my praise this song. Please, can you give us that song? Namaka. Forget about temperature. For you to, to know that where you are coming from does not matter. But where you are what? It's what is matters. Now I can take a vacash but you come over. Now Variaba Missuri the Vakesh but you come over. Because less sang less sanganga m life ya moon to Allah Nyapo if you are ish baban to Abika Pefia Bulesa. Idia ingi the party David Afri Shapo Bukachema Wambush. Abika Pobuli Dabuabanto. If you are let the if you are not Kwambo, which the Mio Shen, if you are let stand up, you know Mushiri Bakambo, we push a finch fiatic, Chava Shani, Oko Amfunya Equa Lepa, Ukunde and Akusta Shani, Ukunum Bakambo, which I enjoy fellowship yandi in Alessa. Look. Ngatava mi peri ya mwari ka baby. Nanu ingesa mi pa na yesu wali mulimu. Come on, people of God. Did ya, but the time where you are just an infant. Elo vadi noku mi puila. We say um puila na yesu wali mukati. Awe, tete fi bombe. Come on, kutari ya mfunyo yulesa. God bless you. Ya wila, ya wila, ya wila, ya wila. Who tell you, Pumia, will you listen? They look at us. <laughs> 